guys what is up welcome back to my channel excuse the no makeup and the hair like this I woke up a few hours ago and I'm gonna be a bum for the next week and a half that I'm literally just allowing myself to veg out and look like shit and just work out I've been trying to look more presentable in my videos lately but this is truly me on a daily basis so it's okay <laughs> we can be realistic on this fucking channel I feel like I haven't made a video without no makeup in a while I haven't made a vlog style video in a while and I just had a fucking weird epiphany okay I literally just thought to myself and I was like, I have like so much to talk to you guys about. Oh my gosh, should we just do like a little update in the beginning of this video? I don't even know. I think we should. Okay, we're gonna start this with an update and then we are gonna get into what I eat in a day. We're gonna go through everything. We're gonna pretty much just like hang out all day and I'm gonna show you every meal. I want to make videos that like truly help people. I'm gonna leave it at that and not like go into all of my plans. I wanna help. I want to talk about all the things that I have learned on this journey of life and on this journey of weight loss and and just how I've really flipped my life 180 and how I genuinely have so much like advice and like more wisdom now than I did recently the last two years were like kind of hard for me and I feel like just a completely different person now with a whole different outlook on life and like just turned my life into such a more positive life and a life that really fits exactly what I've wanted and I'm getting exactly what I want out of it and I like I want to help you guys do the same thing I want to do everything I can to like make you you guys the best possible you guys that you can be because it took a lot of fucking work a lot of mental work a lot of physical work a lot of dedication determination to get myself to probably the best point in my life ever and I just want to help you guys do the same and I see a lot of girls making videos like that and it's just like that's what I want to do like I just don't want to post like pointless videos all the time like that's why I was losing my drive of YouTube like that's why it's like I don't want to just tell stories and expose my life like I want to like do something valuable to the world now I'm not a about just like drama or telling stories or just posting super pointless superficial things like I don't know that's just like my epiphany because I do have multiple jobs now which I'll talk really quick about my business <laughs> okay <laughs> I feel, I feel like I shouldn't talk about it though. I'm not even gonna talk about my business on here in detail yet, okay? If you follow me on socials, if you know, you know, um, I am running the risk of running out of stock. It's the best problem ever to have. I have a restock order in this week. Production is starting this week and it's gonna be double the size of the last one that I ordered. I just wanted to see if you guys would like it and you guys really fucking liked it and you really liked one of them like a lot. That one's selling like a lot and I'm just like so excited to keep this little business going but I'm not gonna talk about it too much I'm gonna leave it there I've been so excited to announce it and I did all over my social media but I'm just gonna kind of graze over it here on YouTube for now until I have plenty of stock for you guys I'm so over the moon I'm so excited I've had so much insane support from my friends and followers supporters like I'm shocked about how many people genuinely care about me and love me and wanted to support me and to each one of you that showed me love said congratulations bought one fucking love you forever if there's anything you need let me know I bought from small businesses as well this weekend or last week when I launched and everything and they were buying from mine and I was like I have to buy from yours too bitch okay but we're not gonna talk about that too much that's not what this video is about we're gonna cut that there but yeah I really want to help people I want to start making more videos and if we want to discuss a weight update do you guys want a weight update I stepped on the scale today I am a hundred and twenty seven point nine pounds it's been a struggle my whole life of learning health and and food and I didn't know how to cook up until a few months ago um, I didn't really understand the need for whole foods in your diet and the need to cook and the need to do grocery shopping and not just eat out all the time and I just I didn't understand these things until my literal 25 26 year of my life it's so crazy but I'm just so happy it happened now and not later so I'm still young it's still easy for me to get healthy and reverse any damage that I've done to my body 127 pounds like I literally I don't know how I didn't cry this morning like like I want to cry kind of right now like literally that is a lot of weight from my highest weight um, and it's uh, 32 pounds 33 pounds from my weight on this journey so crazy my lowest weight ever in my adult life before this journey was 134 my ultimate goal is 110 to 115 because I am short I'm five feet tall but like my first goal that I would be like more than happy at is 120 but I do think I want to shoot for 115 definitely want to tone up and everything there's so much 
fat loss that happened but I definitely want to tone up a little bit it feels weird to talk about my wins sometimes like I don't want to be that person but I also struggled with this my entire life and it was something I felt like I would never beat I just was unhealthy for my body and for where I want to be and for how long of a life I want to live I'm just the happiest healthiest version of myself right now and it's hard don't get me wrong it is not easy to be on this journey it is not easy to lose all this weight I mean 33 pounds in the last three and a half months so yeah I've been losing about 10 pounds a month and it's been perfectly steady and beautiful and I haven't hit a major plateau and I'm just so so thankful and I want to make videos to help you guys with that I know a lot of you a lot of you are interested especially in my TikTok of like my weight loss and stuff so I know that's just like content people want for me and I'm definitely one of those people that I I've been up there and I've also been down there and the weight area like I've been up I've been down I've been all around and I've yo-yoed and I feel like this is the time where I'm finally putting the pieces together in my brain I'm finally understanding health and fitness and the need to move your body those are my life updates now we're gonna hang out and we're gonna eat all day and I'm gonna look like this because the bitch is going to the gym later actually I might save it for tomorrow I don't know but 127 is my new weight and I cannot wait to keep up this journey with you guys and keep doing this let's fucking do it and let's make more videos let's hang out I kept telling myself recently like I want to look pretty on camera I want to be presentable <laughs> like I've never been afraid to like show myself without makeup or like whatever and I feel like recently I was like no I want to look good I want to look good do you guys care absolutely fucking not so why do I care about that okay so let's talk about this this is my first little drink treat whatever at 10 o'clock a.m. in the morning I have little alarms that go off on my phone so I make this glass of coffee press the power button press the hot water and then press that little cup right there that's if you have the Keurig you just want like a tiny bit of hot water mixed with your instant coffee so this is Sebastian's and this is mine I do prefer the taster's choice house blend I do like a lighter roast but Seb does like the dark roast so you decide but this is so easy to me especially since the coffee is like healthy tasting quote-unquote you don't really need like some bougie coffee I feel like now so I just literally get taster choice <laughs> we put it in this cup we put some ice in it and we make some ice freaking coffee so once you get the hot water in with the tasters choice and you mix it with ice and you get the iced coffee ready then you're gonna add your creamer nut pods is everything you can get these at Ralph's or Target that's where I usually get them this one is only from Ralph's. That's what I've seen and this is my favorite one, dude. So nut pods are almond and coconut, so they're dairy free. This is zero grams of sugar per serving. Both of these have no sugar. The flavor is cookie butter, okay? Cookie butter with no sugar. Oh my God, it does have two grams of sugar alcohol in this and there's no sugar alcohol in this. This still is the best though. This is my favorite. This one as well. So you can kind of decide. Oh, 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 oh. This is so good, you guys. So here's the tea. I found this keto friendly. I am not keto. I do not recommend keto whatsoever. But hey, it has no sugar in it. So I like that. And it has a lot of protein. So it's great. This is Catalina Crunch. I got it from Target. And it is cinnamon toast cereal, you guys. There is zero grams of sugar, 11 grams of protein, and nine grams of fiber. Let's look at the calories so we have a half cup calories are 110 not bad total fat 5 grams not bad sodium 110 not bad carbs 14 grams not bad you need carbs fiber 9 grams that's awesome I feel like you don't always see fiber in food items you don't always get the fiber in and protein 11 grams bitch if you wanted to have a full cup of this your protein would be 22 grams for the cereal okay and it tastes really freaking good okay we're gonna go get a cup. So let's make a half cup of cereal. I just eyeball, I don't measure stuff. I don't know if that's just me. Unsweetened silk almond milk. Let's taste test again. I forgot what this tastes like. It genuinely does taste like cinnamony cereal. Kind of does really taste like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I will definitely be repurchasing. If you are not a fan of sugar alcohol aftertaste, is Stevia considered a sugar alcohol? Because I know there's Stevia in this, which is totally a great sugar replacement. But this is really, really good. I would definitely recommend trying this. I will make my coffee at 10 a.m. and I will have something like this for breakfast. Now we just wait till I'm hungry again. And we'll come back soon. Seb so got wing stop last night. And when I say I really haven't had a cheat, this whole time, like, I mean it for the most part. Besides, like, alcohol and, like, a few bites of something here and there. Like, I haven't had, like, a cheat. So this feels a little cheaty because in my head I'm like, okay, it's wing stop, you know? Deb got me us. 
some plain chicken tenders and I am going to have maybe one or two. I haven't had a chicken tender in a long time. I've only had like grilled chicken, boiled chicken, with seasonings and stuff of course. I just haven't had like a piece of breaded chicken. Keep it within your calorie deficit and it's fine. And I'm gonna dip it in a little ranch. I haven't had ranch in months. This is like, we doing this together, bitch. I'm having carrots and I am having my cut up cucumber, which I cut up every week and put in a little Ziploc baggie or a little glass container. And I just put like a shit ton of cut up cucumber. This is my trade in for like chips. So if I'm feeling snacky, if I'm feeling like, damn, chips sound really good right now or something like that, I go munch on some cucumbers. It sounds so stupid. It does the job. You still feel like you're snacking, but you're getting all the benefits of a cucumber and all the hydration because I think it's like mostly water. I don't know. I basically fit vegetables in all the time. Light ranch. I used to dunk that shit and be covered. <laughs> Portions. That's the secret. These are so good. Mm. Had a few cucumber slices. Gonna munch on some carrots. Probably gonna for sure have one more chicken tender. These get addicting once you just like keep going. It's just like snacking on chips. I mean, it's not. Chips are way better. Your body is like totally fine with it. Like you're not gonna sit here like dying for chips. Like, like you're literally gonna enjoy it. And the way you feel is completely different. Chicken tendy number two. And then I'm done. Side note, I just drink a bunch of water now. I try to fill this up like multiple, multiple times a day and just drink it. That's all your body needs at the end of the day is water. So that's what I try to do. Later that same evening. Go on TikTok for two fucking seconds and I see dogs, sad dog videos, and I'm tired of it. I love it and I'm not tired of it. And that's why it keeps showing up on my For You page because I keep liking them. I can't bring myself to not like the sad fucking dog videos, but they're so wholesome. They're not all just like sad. They're just like wholesome. And this is the result. So we're truly just hanging out today. <laughs> Does this happen to anybody else? Hi, baby. Can you say hi to everybody? What are you doing? You don't like the camera. She doesn't like the camera that much. But look how precious. She just got groomed. Look at that face. She's so perfect. Okay, time for lunch. Okay, I put on the headband because the ponytail was giving me a mad headache. If I wear the ponytail all day, I will literally get such a mad headache. Oh yeah. This is the exciting part, you guys. These are the muffins that I made. Let's take a peek. They're not the most beautiful muffins you've ever seen in your life. Let's talk about how I made these. Since they're already made, I'm not gonna be making them on camera, but I'm gonna tell you exactly how to make them. So let's go sit down. So I'm just gonna stick this in the air fryer for like three minutes. I undercooked it a little bit on accident, so putting it in the air fryer makes it nice and muffin-like. These are my chocolate protein muffins. This is the fun part to me because it's like, I can still have a chocolate muffin that has like a cakey consistency and a rich chocolate consistency without all the calories, without all the extra add-ins and with the benefits of like protein and stuff and it literally tastes so good. I even had Seb try it and he liked it and that says a lot because he doesn't like anything really that healthy <laughs> and he liked it enough, okay? So I don't really measure anything out, I'm not gonna lie, so use your best judgment to get it into like muffin consistency but this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna mix oats, organic oats if you can with no sugar, that's the way to go. Banana, unsweetened almond milk, obviously very little because we want this to be a little bit thick. Vanilla extract, unsweetened cocoa powder, there's no sugar in that. And one and a half scoops, or you could do two scoops even because you're gonna be filling multiple muffins, but I did one and a half of any chocolate protein powder that you want. And then you're gonna sprinkle some baking powder and baking soda, just a little bit on top. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take all those items that I just listed and you're gonna put them in a blender. And then you're gonna blend that up and that's your batter. It's literally that simple. So this is the key ingredient if you wanna have the protein. And I literally had like one of these every day last week or at least for half of the week I had one of those muffins like every day. And this was the week I was down like freaking three, four pounds in a week. This is what I use. It's the Cocoa Pebbles 100% whey isolate so once you blend all of that up get a muffin pan I have like a jumbo muffin pan from Target that has like six muffins and I line them with little like muffin liners and then I pour the batter in and I fill it up pretty much to the top of the line but maybe a little bit less because what you're gonna do now which you could totally add like sugar-free chocolate this is what I would do but I didn't get to because I didn't have it but you could totally add like sugar-free chocolate chips Lily's has some really good ones. You could totally get those. Um, I would absolutely be doing that if I had them, but I can't find them anyway. They're like always out of stock. 
But what I did is I took PB Fit, my other holy grail, you guys. PB Fit is my other freaking holy grail. I've talked about this in my weight loss video. This has, for two tablespoons, you guys know how high in calorie regular peanut butter is with oil and stuff. This is two tablespoons, same serving as regular peanut butter, only 70 calories, total fat, two grams for two tablespoons, and the protein is eight. Like you're getting a little extra protein and it tastes amazing and it's way healthier for you. Like the ingredients is just peanut flour, coconut palm sugar, and salt. I swear this has been such a help. All you do is like pour the powder into a cup and then you mix it with water and it makes the peanut butter. But when I was making these and lately I have been using less water and keeping it more like a dry consistency and it tastes way better to me. So I made it extra dry. I put a bunch of this in a cup, put way less water, made it like pretty dry but enough to like roll it into a ball. And then I rolled peanut butter into a ball and I stuck it in the middle of the batter. So basically what I'm saying is in the middle of your chocolate protein muffins is gonna be a little ball of PB fit, okay? See, I make these videos to like also help you guys so I feel like annoying because this is what I eat in a day and I had somebody complain about that a while ago and I never forgot it because I was like, what am I doing wrong by like telling you what to eat? But then it's like, why else do you watch these videos other than to get ideas? It literally smells like a brownie, just so you know. You know what the smell reminds me of? They're chocolate muffins from Costco. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. After lunch snack. I don't know, I just eat randomly whenever my body tells me to. I'm so sorry, I forgot to say, when you bake these, so after you put the peanut butter in the middle, if you decide to do that or add your chocolate chips or whatever, 350 degrees, about 21 to 25 minutes, but maybe more like 22 to 26. Another update, it's about 2.30 right now and I've had too many of these to count. Drink your water, that's what I do, to stay nice and hydrated and probably helps my skin a lot too. And that sounds so cliche, but like mixed with the healthy eating, drinking a lot of water, it's a secret. Why is Kelly cracking me up? She has to put the pillow a certain way and like get comfy on it and then she just watches me because she wants my food and then she goes back to bed. So this is the little meal that I made. Obviously just whip up some egg whites and then I added some organic tomatoes because I kind of just love tomatoes now. Um, always have but like extra now. Cucumbers, carrots, and tomatoes are like such a huge part of my diet now. Like I will snack on them instead of snacks that I had before. Like that's like my new snack is like vegetables. So Sometimes I'll cut up tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, things like that, and put it in the egg whites. I didn't want to do that today. I feel like we got a good amount of protein in today. It was pretty balanced. Honestly, a lot of days I'll add a carb as well, black beans or potatoes. If I'm going to the gym, I definitely make sure to eat more. It is spinach juice time. I'm gonna show you how I make my delicious spinach juice. This is if I feel like I need a little pick-me-up, a little zing because of the ginger and turmeric, and it just makes me feel good because greens are like my new favorite thing. My frozen spinach sits in this bag. I put it in the freezer. That helps the drink just be a little more cold. I take my cucumbers. I'll just put two little ones since I already had quite a few today. So you just put a little spritz of lemon and lime. If you want to recreate this, it'll probably even taste better with real lemons and lime. So you just put in a little turmeric, put some ginger. Because if I overdo the ginger, it tastes a little too spicy. And then we're going to fill this up with water. I don't usually add ice cubes, but I'm feeling it today. All right, it is done. My lemon ginger, turmeric, spinach, green juice. And it's really good. So I stick a straw in there and I drink it from there. And then I'll make dinner a little bit. What I do when I want some protein, and this is obviously very satiating, make sure it's in water. You can get any type of brand. I like Starkist, but I kind of like Bumblebee better, so. Okay, so I just drained it a little bit and put it in this bowl. Now we're gonna add a tiny dollop of light mayo. Then, I am almost out. I need to get more of this. I love Dijon mustard. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in there. A little bit of that. And then I'm gonna cut an avocado in half and I'm gonna put the half, I'm gonna squeeze it into the tuna. The other half that I did not use, I wrap it in cling wrap and I save it for tomorrow. So I can have this with eggs or whatever I decide to have tomorrow. Now I have half an avocado. I do this every time I cut open an avocado, it doesn't waste it. I pretty much only wanna eat like half a day. Usually I add pickles in here too, but I'm not really feeling 
like cutting them up right now. I take garlic powder sometimes. Just put, ooh, that was way too much. Don't put that much, I'm sorry, oops. But garlic powder is not as sodium-y or anything as garlic salt, so you're totally fine. I put a little bit of this. This is the Mrs. Dash seasoning I was telling you guys about in my last video. Salt-free, no sodium. These two are my absolute favorites to season like anything, so. This is what it looks like after you mix it up and it is time to eat dinner. Okay, so it is about 5.30ish right now and I feel like I had a great day of eating. I feel really good about it. It's really tasty with the avocado. It looks nasty, but it tastes so good. So I'll just eat this. If I need some like chocolate or something, I'll have like half of a one protein bar or the whole thing. This is the best thing to curb your sweet tooth you will ever have. Once again, I'm not keto at all. This is like birthday cake granola. Protein, zero grams of added sugar, gluten-free, grain-free, perfect dessert. This tastes like the best thing I've ever had. It literally tastes like birthday cake. You know, calories are a little something, but not bad at all. Fat is a little something because you're basically eating nuts, but they taste like birthday cake, literally. Look at the protein, look at the sugar content, the carbs aren't bad. Run, do not walk to Sam's Club. This is where we got it. Trust me, trust me, trust me. If you get one thing from this video, you take one idea, you do one thing, you go get this granola right now. New Trail, I guess it's from New Trail. So this is a wonderful dessert. So this is 100% a realistic what I eat in a day video now to be down 33 pounds and probably Progress still coming in strong. I really like didn't think I'd be here. I never ever thought I'd be in the 120s again. Summer's coming, Beyond Wonderland is coming, EDC is coming, EDC. That will hopefully be my final form. Beyond, pretty close. EDC, I'm gonna try to get super fucking fit. Outfits are like a whole different world now. I'm so excited, I cannot wait to show you my outfits. Oh, and my makeup and shit. Oh, this is gonna be, this is my year to go off at Raves. Very excited. Yeah, big things are happening, you guys. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see your lovely, beautiful faces in my next video. Bye, guys.